Later, Prince Butterwaffle and his assistant in robes walked all the way to Bread Barber's shop, where it was still open. <laughs> Mr. Bread, may he present to you Prince Butterwaffle the First. Oh, is it really? That's right. I present the Honorable Prince Butterwaffle the First, second in line to the throne. Don't expect that you can keep me a face fit for a king. Oh, I don't hear that, sir. So I have a king's face or don't I? Wow. Absolutely not. Do my eyebrows need shaving? Oh, that's bad. Oh, the teeth look like fungus. Please, sir, Brett, give me the face of a real king, won't you? Why do you want a king's face anyway? Our nation suffers the cruel whims of the king queen. If I become king, I will save Bakery Town from her tyranny. But you're talking about high treason here. Yeah, and high treason is a high crime. That's right. You must help me. I have witnessed her highness plundering food. I have seen her push aside her means. Make their pleas of mercy with threats of... Prince Butterwaffle the First, in a flashback, was angry that the cake queen took his sofa, but he was on it first. Silence! Watch your sofa! <laughs> African American marshmallow bodyguards. Prince Butterwaffle the First is to be locked in the dungeon until he learns how to be more generous. No, please! <laughs> Just hearing your tale makes me sore. Because Master Bread recalls a grudge against the cake queen and she locked him in her underground dungeon. Twice. One time in season one and one time in season two. But will it happen again? No. Imposing this tyrant will save our country. Master Red, you'll help me, won't you? You have my solemn word. Follow me. Please have a seat. Take the face of a king and cause great suffering. Can you handle such pain, sir? It means I can become king. I will endure any pain whatsoever. Any pain? I will give you a king's face. Huh? What do you think you're doing? King's forehead must be royal. Oh, my gosh, this land is gross. Hmm. His eyebrows shall resemble an eagle and fun. Master Bread was shocked. The face is ugly. And it says here that a king's peanut nose, face, large lips, and all those other things, including that hair in the mole, it's said to be so ugly, it could make anybody cringe, fall to the ground, and vomit.
Don't you ever take that off your face. You hear him. <coughs> do you hear him? Never. I do. Thank you, my Get dethroned yourself. Oh, Peter Griffin doesn't like that face either. Okay, Lois, give him a bucket so he can throw up into.